Yeah, I just came across this on Yahoo News. And, um, yeah, it looks quite um, frightening. But, I, I mean, I'm not going to give in to any more fear-mongering stuff, but it looks quite serious. It was actually on the news this morning. It says, Solar Superstorm UK must brace for fret. And they've got a video here showing you. But what it's saying, it says Brit Britain must do more to prepare for a once-in-a-century solo storm, according to experts. The government is being urged by the Royal Academy of Engineering to set up a UK space weather board to help cope with a massive radiation blast from the sun. Such an explosion could trigger blackouts, knock out one in ten satellites and disrupt aircraft and GPS systems. Statistically, a solo superstorm is likely to occur every 100 to 200 years. Although, so, although solo weather events ha happen regularly, the Earth has not experienced a superstorm since the start of the space age. What solo storms can do, the 1859 Carrington event, the last true superstorm known as the Carrington event occurred in 1859 when Earth was hit by a tidal wave of energetic particles following a large solar flare. Induced currents caused by the blast sent sparks flying from telegraph pylons and caused fires around the world. Night skies were lit up by magnificent aurora displays, but at the time there were no satellites in orbit or sensitive microchips in the path of the particles. Experts now warn that another solar storm, superstorm on a scale of the Carrington event is inevitable and Britain should be prepared although the effects are not expected to be cataclysmic. Professor Paul Cannon, who chaired the Academy's working group on extreme solar weather, said our message is don't panic but do prepare. A solar storm will happen one day and we need to be ready for it. With sat navs likely to be rendered useless in such an event, his advice to motorists was make sure you continue to keep a map in your car. Space engineer Keith Ryden from the University of Surrey, another member of the working group, said flights would be disrupted by falling microchips. But he added, we're not talking about aircraft dropping out of the sky. A solar superstorm would have proved lethal for the Apollo astronauts had one occurred when they were on the moon. Currently, an, an ageing satellite called Advanced Composition Explorer 8 provides around 15 minutes warning of a coronal mass ejection, a huge plasma cloud of charged particles that causes the most damage during the solar storm. Scientists are concerned about what will happen if ice falls. If ice fails, a replacement for AIDS called Discover is due to be launched by the American Space Agency, NASA, in 2014 but what I what my message is I think people should stop just um, you know sort of giving in to their mobile phones and um, you know the internet has completely taken over as I, I'm, I'm concerned people have just forgotten the old way of communicating with the you know the old landline and um, you know I know writing letters is a bit old but you know they're just sort of giving in everything shopping online ordering you know products is all just online 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 and i don't like it i just really don't like ordering things online i don't like giving my credit card details over the internet and i really do think we should um prepare for this get as many candles get a generator and just um stockpile of water and that's what i've got to really say really all right